So steam is very important to us in the whisky distillery. We use it for all aspects of cooking the wheat. So a lot of steam generation needed for these process, very, very high demand. As you can see, we're quite a large site, uh, over 100 million litres of alcohol a year. Uh, so we've got quite a few pumps on site. One of the problems we see on site is uh, steam quality. Steam quality is a big issue on site uh, with most sites. Uh, the better the steam quality, the less the water retention within the steam. So you get a cleaner actual path into the product uh, or the heating system and better heat transfer. Uh, you don't see as much condensate. Uh, and this all comes down to the level control, you know, and how good we can control that level within the boiler. The better the level control, the better the steam quality. So any, anything we can do to cure that at the actual root cause, rather than out in the field, is a plus. Uh, it's funny how this kind of started. The initial problem here was, uh, I wasn't looking at steam quality at that point in time. I was looking at a... Uh, a high failure rate on our feed water valves for the boilers. That's what I was looking at. So we were getting about maybe six months out of the boiler feed water valves. They weren't lasting any sort. Control was poor, which leads to flooding of the boiler. After going down and uh, meeting uh, one of the Grumpfus uh, away days to look at the products and that, I actually bumped into Soren uh, and he was showing me a wee demonstration of what I just thought was a continuous control for any sort of look powered. We use them at right across site, but when he informed me it was for, for a boiler, that was a light bulb moment for me. Because I'd always thought to myself, why have we got this static control with a feed water valve on boilers where due to modern technology we have 4020 output running a, a variable speed drive which will control any sort of level in any sort of plant very, very accurately, very, very stably, and it's so easy to fault find on. So, after conversation, this is when it led into this, well, let's look at the application as a yellow belt project for one of our boilers and see how effective it actually is. And from that, the fallout from that is the amount of improvements we can create from such a small change is pretty extreme. We're seeing uh, greater energy efficiency of the boiler, gas usage, steam quality is better, uh, control of level is better where you can uh, control your accumulation in the top of the boiler. Uh, failure rates, we haven't had any failure rates, that's it now been running for six months, no problems whatsoever. But then the, 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 you've, got the, you've got the impact as well of cheaper spares, because you're not buying such a big pump. You know what I mean? And then being, being a maintenance leader, that I'm the one they come in get the demands off the operations to say this isn't functioning properly. And uh, you've got to look at it for my guys as well as, as the maintenance team. See, it's got to be easy to fix. These guys don't want to be returning and having to fix something day in, day out. It's got to be easy to fix for these guys. So, we've ticked all the boxes in my books. I think, I think everybody should be doing this. I, don't, I, I can't think of one reason why you wouldn't do it. And if you can think of one, please contact me. Ha <laughs>